Hey everybody, I want to preface today's episode first by touching on the rumor out there of a new CSGO case coming sometime soon to CSGO. I'm going to give you guys all the information I know as of right now as well as the information in this article on screen. I'll link the Reddit article down below for all of you guys as why we think a new CSGO case should be dropped in the next 24 hours and if not then, in the next couple of weeks it's almost guaranteed a new CSGO case to come to the game. And first off, what we saw in that article was a big influx of CSGO keys for Bitcoin transactions. Of course, many investors out there and major holders of keys want to get rid of their keys before a new case comes because apparently the case key market does actually drop when a new case comes out despite what you might think might actually happen so we've seen a large number of transactions for that besides that that we've also had a lot of public information regarding perfect world and their new release outside of the beta server their beta clients been active for several months now and apparently this Friday they're gonna launch the official servers for their CSGO client all across China and that means a huge influx of Chinese players so think about it logically guys of course valve trying to make that greedy move that big money grab out there a brand new influx of, of supposedly maybe even millions of players of course they're gonna release a brand new case near that time so it can be cool to see if they actually do that and of course on top of that though if you guys have not heard we actually have two new sticker capsules coming to the Chinese client on that same day as well and it could be a new case now on top of that even further evidence for all of you as we look at our past CSGO cases all the way back in May it's currently now September or mid-September of course it's been two to three months since our last case and that's usually about the average wait time two to three months we all the way back in May we had our Hydra case before that it was back in March with a spectrum the overall point I want to make here is the big money grab chance for valve and we highly have to, we have to highly doubt they wouldn't take a chance to actually jab at that new Chinese market with a new CSGO case. So if there is no new CSGO case in the next 24 hours, which I think there, there might be, it's a possibility. If not, then give it two weeks max, guys, and we'll have a new CSGO case because Valve, they love their money more than they love their game. As of right now, that's how I feel about it. But instead of that, you know, let's take another jab at a new story for all of you guys in our second story today. Valve is doing some things right. Of course, we've had pistol updates coming soon and, and also the Dust 2 rework allegedly coming soon alongside that Source 2. Things they're taking the right step in the right direction, but of course, one thing they're doing right now very actively is this past month in August, we actually broke the overall record for in-game and VAC bans. Over 360,000 cheaters were banned this past month, over 180,000 VAC bans, and also plus an additional 180,000 in-game bans, which does break the record. The past record was not even close to that. So is this a good thing, though, is the real question. Is it good that this past month in August, we had a record number of cheaters? I'm not really sure. Of course, it means more people are trying to play your game, but it also means that more of your community is kind of poisoned by the fact that they want to cheat they don't actually want to play the game for what it really is worth so yeah that was another cool news and there's been a ton of CSGO news these past 10 days that no one really talks about so I'll mention that right now for all you big Penta fans out there we do have of course them being down to their three man main roster we have Zen, Innocent, and Crystal alongside of course Nasu their coach but they've also lost HS to Optic and Sunny to Mouse Sports so of course that roster right now is a bit broken but for all you Penta fans out there who are worrying a bit too much of their futures I do think these three members might try and stick it out with Penta as of right now we've had Penta signing big contracts with other esports teams mainly the rainbow six siege team has signed big contracts so it does seem they're probably going to try and sign these three main members for a short amount of time at least and pay them quite well to stay in that roster who's going to join them though we really do not know what's not been talked about a lot these past few days is this past weekend at dreamhack montreal this team struggled they actually played with three standing members that kind of switched between who was playing when they actually play with a polish member known as stark they play with tensky from team dignitas and they also play with dennis from mouse sports and they struggled at dreamhack montreal beyond belief they lost a the best of three to this team on screen AWTR, a Swedish roster out there that I've really never heard too much about. So you guys can imagine what kind of struggles they're going through. Would you worry for the future? Who knows? Once they get their five-man roster locked down, I think we'll see a bit of a return. But will they ever be the same without HS and without Sunny? I highly doubt it. Really, as of right now, I think HS is one of their primary members because as of right now, HS has been doing quite well for Optic Gaming. Now, speaking of Optic, another story for all you guys who are wondering how much Optic players are being paid, we have an article come out about Mattis Boy a long time ago. I'll link the article down below for all of you guys as well. And apparently, Mattis Boy is making 90,000 Danish kroner every single month. That equates to about $14,500 or right around $170,000 every single year. I think that's actually a pretty fair price for a player like that. And that roster right now has it looked pretty amazing in the North American scene. I've talked about this. I tweeted about this. My overall thought about Optic right now is they are very inflated. As of right now, Optic has done all they can do. They've won most of their matchups. I think as of right now in the past month or the past three weeks together, they've lost maybe two or three matches total. They've done what we can ask of them. As of right now, we knew what they could do. We knew a European roster could beat tier two North American teams. They have done all they can do. All we have to do now is wait for the next Optic tournament where they go to in best of threes and play against other top tier North American teams or even European teams in general, and we'll see how they really perform. And also in the news earlier, 
earlier this week, we had the PewDiePie incident. I'm sure many of you guys have heard about now, where he made a he made a, a different remark on his uh, stream than usual. He actually dropped the n bomb with a full n bomb on stream. I didn't really present this to any of you guys because who cares about my opinion, right? Uh, I don't think PewDiePie is actually a racist, but it was kind of a stupid thing to do. I'm not going to play that clip for you guys, but why I bring this up is because apparently this past week, many of you guys have probably seen this clip as well. I'm about to show you in the high school esports league. High school esports league. I'll actually link their website down below for all of you guys who are in North America. As of right now, they're only in American League, but they will be branching out sometime soon in the future if they can. If you guys are actually going to high school with a few of your buddies and you want to play CSGO associated with your high school team, you can actually sign up for this league as well as a free league every now and again. And this past week in their free league, they had a team engage in some racist remarks with the team they were losing to and they were actually getting killed by. And so I'm going to play the clip for all of you guys and let me know what you think about this compared to the PewDiePie incident. What do you guys think about this clip right here? This is one of the downsides to a free league. You get people who don't take it um, very seriously, so... We're calling the game. That's that's not okay. That's not okay. Read chat. Read chat. So I did get back to them. I actually reached out to these guys as well. Again, I'll link their website down. If you guys are in North America right now and want to participate, I think it's a really cool thing. If I was still in high school, I would love to join up with some buddies. Even though I suck at CSGO, it would be really kind of cool to see and play people around the around the country uh, participating in other high schools as well. So on top of that, though, I actually reached out to the officials and said what happened, you know, what happened to the team themselves. They did go ahead and disqualify the two members that participated. So for all of you guys who think punishment was definitely worthy, yes, it was. They were disqualified for good. I think, uh, I'm not sure the, the length of the ban, but as of right now, two of those members who actually said the words themselves have been kicked off the team and disqualified from the tournament. The other three members though have not been punished at all. I think that's probably the right punishment to go. But what do you guys think about that? What they said? Was it rough? Was it bad? How the commentators reacted was probably in the best interest. As always guys, that's going to do for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below. I actually have a road trip tomorrow, so I'm going to take off tomorrow guys. I should be back sometime Saturday or Sunday. I have plenty of time to check the comments though. So please leave a comment down below what your favorite story was, how, how ugly I am or something stupid. I don't know. Leave a comment down below, guys. I will see you all in a couple days. Hope you all enjoyed. Live, love, laugh, lot. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. I'm going to go. All right.